I love it how as soon as the video ends, it's actually when I ta tell you guys that he's no longer metahuman. That was awesome. I didn't end that. That wasn't edited. My thing actually just, like, stopped recording because I was out of space. I love how that actually happened. But, this is now part two of everything that we're working on with this reboot. Now, some of the changes that I just said to you about, you may agree with, you may not. You may, Like, these may be the best changes you could have possibly asked for. These could be the worst. I don't know. All I know is that this is actually going to fit well with everything else we're building. Because let's be honest, Shady O'Malley is the mascot of Modium. He is the man. He is literally the guy that we have to... Like, he is literally the backbone of everything else that has come before. Jailbroken, um... Jailbroken Supernovas, Uplink, um, Edge of Death, all those things. Who came first? He did. So this is the guy that we have to um, treat with the absolute biggest of respect. I want to give this character nothing but justice. And I already have a concept of the first episode and the second episode. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is going to be a 10 episode series. It's a mini series. Uh, it's going to clock in at 6 to 10 minutes. And I'm just hoping that the way it's going, it's going to be good. I don't know when we would film the first one, but I'm just praying right now that it, it would work. Because, like, I already have episode one kind of written down, and I really want to do the others. And I, I just, I want it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And can I do it? Like, is this... I was actually considering at one point that this would be sort of a Netflix thing. I'd film everything in advance, then I'd edit it, and then I'd release it all right there. But... That didn't feel right with me. I want to give you guys um, a Shady O'Malley video as soon as I can. I don't want to rush it, but I don't want to. I don't want to leave it because I want to. I want to let you guys in on a little secret. Batman vs Superman is only going to take four months of post production. They are done with filming. They are going to be done in April, and then they're just going to hold the film right there. Waiting for its release date. They can release it right now. I guarantee... Not right now, but... they. I guarantee you they could release it in three months, but they won't. And you want to know why? Because they want to keep this DC flow going. Because guess what comes out a couple months after that? Suicide Squad. If Batman vs. Superman's awesome. Suicide Squad's going to make a lot of money, too, because it has the Joker. Batman. Joker. Everyone knows those two. But... What I need to talk to you about is what we are doing with the Shady O'Malley reboot. Like, uh, it's going to be a 10 episode series. I don't know when we would start. I'm going to write like three episodes in advance. Then I'm going to try to get people, hopefully. What I am thinking is, is that we're going to do this right after live action Zelda, which comes out on February 28th. There's a release date for you. Uh... If you also remember, I was doing an Assassin's Creed movie, like I kept promoting it, but what happened was is that we missed the release date. The release date was supposed to be yesterday, and we hardly have any footage. We have, like, a beginning, something that's supposed to go in, in the third take, then we have, like, something that's supposed to come after the third take we shot, then we have, like, two um, a minute or two worth of footage that explains everything and then we got to tell a futuristic story it's right now colliding on me but right now i'm just gonna put assassin's creed on the side like okay there you go working on something here you go now let's go right into zombie takeover which is what i'm doing <laughs> right now uh um assassin's creed is gonna be something that i'm gonna be working on the sidelines like, I'm just going to be kind of working on it until it's completed. And then, like, while I'm doing that, I'm just... I have a bigger hand on everything else that I'm working on. But Shady O'Malley, here's the deal with that. I have videos planned out all the way to August, September even. Like, in order to put Shady O'Malley in the middle of that, I would have to literally cancel some of the videos planned. Which, I'm 
which I'm either going to do or I'm going to give some of those videos and I'm just going to sell them to different distributors. For example, Carson Hunter was supposed to originally be developed with me, but uh, I'm most likely just going to sell that um, property right to Jaden, which is also Jailbroken Episode Zero. Carson Hunter will be Jailbroken Episode Zero. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, something on the lines of Cop Ops, I don't know like if I want to sell that. Like that, that could be a franchise that I would like to have, and not only that, but if I give it to somebody like Jaden, uh, I don't know if Miguel would like that because he would, because Jaden would own Carson Hunter, Paul Damonte, and Officer Ty because that is how we own everything else. He would also own cameo rights from Miguel, which is how it works. Uh. But, no, no, on the Shady O'Malley reboot, what else is going on? Okay, so, we're going to bring on a company that we never thought we were going to see. Which is, of course, Exeos Entertainment. Exeos, and, um, Exeos Entertainment, or Exeos Technology, however you want to call it. It's more of a technology shop, but it's also called Entertainment. I don't know, it's just something confusing that was in the source material. Uh... What we're doing is is that we are just kind of working with that. We are going to make that a key role in everything else that's going on. It's not going to be like a Oscorp, like, oh, this company is actually evil. No, 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 this is just a company that's trying to make a profit. It's just an everyday company. There's not, like, a secret side to it. There's not, like, something going on. It is an absolute normal company. It just develops weaponry technology for the government. Dangerous technology, I'll put it at that. Um, what else? Something else I gotta say is, uh... You guys are gonna probably ask, there were two other characters that we introduced to you. What's going on with Car um, Carter Rodriguez, Jaden's character in this film, and what is going on with Dosky? Dosky, we don't have any current plans with for this reboot. I don't even know if he'll appear into it, but I know for a fact that he has to be the um, quintessential villain of Astonic Elite. So we gotta set him up somehow. So do not worry, Dosky will show up. He still exists within this world. He just has not officially been introduced yet. As for Carter Rodriguez, what is the fate of that character? Right now, the only two characters I can confirm for you guys that will be returning from source material is Shady O'Malley, of course, title character, and Dosky. Like, he may not even be in the series at all, but I would like to say that we want him to exist in this world. Carter Rodriguez right now... Uh, we... There's nothing a lot we can confirm for him right now. I don't know if there ever will be. But honestly, we also have another character that you guys probably know. We are going to bring this character in, and she is actually going to be quintessential role within this thing. You guys probably know this from source material, but if you guys remember, Shady O'Malley did have like a Catwoman character in his world named um named Bass Drum. Now of course that name is very stupid. So I'd like to confirm to you right now. She will not be called Bass Drone. She's just gonna be called Drone. Um, because that sounds like more of a name that you would use in code. Yeah, I like to confirm that she exists within this world too. Whether she'll show up in the series, I don't know. She may show up in the series, I'm going to be honest. But we don't have female actors to take in that position. So, if that was the case, if for whatever reason we were able to get that, yeah, we would definitely use it, but right now we don't. We don't have one. I hope one day we will. Just not yet. Awesome. Hmm. There's also going to be a lot of other characters. I'm just going to be honest with you on that. Uh, is Shady O'Malley still the lone wolf that he will be? He Well, of course, he wasn't exactly a lone wolf, but will he? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Trust me, when you watch the series, you'll get it. And 
one last thing. Uh, he, um, you guys probably know that he has a costume, right? He, I'm going a Daredevil route, or I'm gonna go like a Batman route. When you start off as a superhero, you don't have the costume right away. You gotta build up to that with different versions. I like to say that that version, that that format will exist. Like, he will just start off amateur all the way to the suit you know today. That is the way it's gonna work, and that is the way I want it to work. I don't want him to just have the suit say, I have responsibility. No, you're gonna act like an asshole. You're gonna be a bit of an amateur. That's how you would work realistically, and that's how he will work. Hope you guys like that. All right, all I'm going to talk to you guys about today. My name is Kevin Mason. I approve this message. Peace out, and I hope you like this rainbow. Peace!